Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, Brain Logic. really interesting challenge today, 8 plus 8 plus 8 times 0, here's our question today, and what is the correct answer, well here we have 3 options, 3 very tricky options, and I hope you will solve this correctly, so before following this, I suggest you do, don't use your calculator, and let's choose one option, what do you think is the correct, write your suggestion down into the comment section, and as always, in 1 or 2 minutes, we will check our answers, it will be really interesting, just trust me, so here's our challenge, here's our option, and I hope you solve this correctly. So first of all, right here, I want to start with this solution. So take a look closely. We have our question. I wanted to rewrite it. We have 8 plus 8 plus 8 and times 0. Okay, here's our question. And one part of students solve this question like that. From school, they know that uh, whatever you, whatever number you have on the left-hand side, whatever value you have on the left-hand side, if you multiply by zero, all the time you have zero. So if you have, for example, like right here, if we add it, so for example, if, have, if we add it, so we have eight plus eight plus eight, we have like 24 times zero, we will have zero and doesn't matter, maybe 100 times zero, we will have zero. And this is option A. So one part of students solve this question like that, they think that this is a correct solution. And right now, I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I want you to understand that in math you should know about order of operation, you should know it, you should learn it, because it's very bad that you solve this chaotically, you do whatever you want in math, but in math there are a lot of laws and rules and you should know what is the correct order to do this problem. So right here, as you can see, many students solve this question like that. And I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, I want you to look at this, for example, PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific graphics, calculator works according to PMDMC. And let's solve this question according to PMDMC, okay? Let's look at it. Maybe we'll have zero, I don't know exactly, but it looks like maybe the main obvious solution to this is zero. But let's look at it, okay? Let's separate these solutions and let's go with this one. Let's check with this PMDMC. So we have 8 plus 8 plus 8 and times zero. So here's our question, here's our order of operation. This order of operation goes from the top to the bottom and let's go through the steps real quick. So parentheses, what about parentheses? I don't see any of those, we don't have any parentheses parentheses and let's go to the next step. Yeah, we don't have any brackets, we don't have any parentheses, so we just skip this part with parentheses. Exponents, what about exponents? Maybe cubes, squares right here? No, I don't see any of those, we don't have any exponents, so it's it's really good also, yeah? Right here we don't have parentheses and exponent and it's brilliant, okay? Let's go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division group, yeah? Let's look at it. Okay, multiplication and division group. A lot of students do this mistake, they say, okay, multiplication, now we, need, now we should multiply it first, but this is one common group and now we need to find we should find where do we have this multiplication and division sign. Let's look at it. Multiplication sign, yeah, we have right here. Before this sign, we don't have any multiplication or division sign. So this multiplication sign, this is the main difference with this solution, because this multiplication sign apply in only, we apply only to these two numbers. We not apply this to the whole expression right here, we apply only to this one eight. And this is a very important moment. So we have multiplication right here, we don't have we don't have division. And moreover, if you look to the addition and subtraction group, we don't have any subtraction, we don't have any addition group, okay? And one, uh, sorry, we have addition, yeah, we have it, okay, we have it, we have addition. So this is our second step, this is our first step. So multiplication, first step, let's multiply right here, so we have 8 plus 8 and plus 8 times 0 is 0 equal to, equal to 0, okay? And right now, the last step, addition, let's add it, so we have 8 plus 8 plus 0 equal to 16. And we have this option, this is option B. But right now, very interesting moment. Very interesting moment. What is the correct answer? 0 or 16? Because right here, it looks like maybe correct. We know that it doesn't matter what, what the value we have on the left-hand side. If you multiply by 0, this is equal to 0. So right here, 24 times 0 equal to 0. And right here, it looks like a correct solution. But I want to say one really important moment. This is absolutely wrong solution. So forget about this solution. Because the main rule is right here. Addition is after multiplication. So all the time, you need to do the thing with addition and then you should multiply, okay? This is a very big mistake. But with parentheses, zero is a correct answer, okay? Let's do this. So 8 plus 8 plus 8 in parentheses as a first step right here. And then 24 times 0 equal to 0. Okay, with parentheses, a correct answer is 0. But in our case, we don't have any parentheses. So a correct answer in our case is 16. And learn this rule that multiplication is before addition. This is a very important rule. I feel like one part of you choose this option 0. I feel about it. But don't feel bad if you got this wrong. It happens right here. If you don't trust me, you can easily check this answer in uh, like scientific calculator. But don't use uh, your regular calculator. Because, for example, you plug in this question in regular calculator later. So we have 8 plus 8, your question, your calculator gives you 16 and then gives you 24 and then multiplying by 0 give us 0. So you can easily check it and the correct answer with your regular calculator will be 0. 
But in our case, a correct answer is E16, which is very important, because this calculator solves this problem with as you type it in. So from left to right, real quick, and they don't care about order of operation. But you right now, you'll learn something new, and I am very happy for you. So let's write our answer. Let's write our answer. A correct answer is option B. So we hope you understand this explanation. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.